Hey, good morning. Well, uh, I couldn't sleep very... Well, I slept, I mean, brilliantly, beautifully. It's just I couldn't sleep in. <laughs> so uh, I popped awake probably 6.30ish. Just laid there thinking, hmm, maybe I'll go in. And by 7 o'clock, I was up. My alarm's always set for 7.30. And I went to bed about 10.30. So, yeah, it's a good eight hours. Favorite drink in the world. Hmm. That first sip of the day is delicious. <clears throat> well, I got hungry last night, but I said I, I don't feel like eating at night because I, I really seems like I don't sleep too well. So I just decided, well, I'll push through it. Uh, I just about grabbed some. Uh, she had some egg and salsa burritos. And we watched a little TV, and uh, by the time the TV was over, uh, I was done being hungry. I didn't, I mean, the flare-up only lasted about an hour. I, sorry, those itches. And that got me to thinking, <clears throat> you know, people eat in front of the TV and this and that, and, and what if life changes? What if the apocalypse happens? And, you know, there's, there's supply shortages, and everyone's complaining about no food on the shelves. But is there really, which shelves do you look at, <clears throat> right? If you look around the edge of the store where all the refrigerators are, you're gonna have the proper human diet mostly sitting there. Uh, the shelves are where you're gonna get your garbage food. Now, let me tell you what happened in May of 2020 as this whole thing started. Yeah, there were, there were people buying extra food. I mean, even the fruiteria that we normally went to, I think they shut down for like two or three weeks. But they, it was twofold because they, they decided eh, they don't want to deal with the government because the government was getting cranky about, you know, this and that. And <clears throat> they said, we don't want to deal with it. So they shut down and they actually kind of just gutted the store and refurbished the whole thing. I mean, they painted, they... I mean, it, looks, it looked really beautiful. still does. Um, and then when they reopened, everything was already mellow. So, I mean, this thing hit Mexico two weeks later. I'm sorry, two months later, it was like, whatever. And everyone was just kind of doing their thing. As a matter of fact, I think the, the federal government got mad at the state government because they're like, we check Google. Well, they don't spy on you, do they? Apparently they bought the Google locations for everyone and found out that nobody in, in my state really gave a shit. So, uh, it doesn't matter, because uh, it is what it is. So we did what a lot of other people did, and I guess we were, I, I went for the staples. I went for rice and beans, because they last a long time, they have a long shelf life. And what I thought then was, you know, it was about, uh, I guess it was about ultimately about calories. And since the bean is almost, um, it's a lot of carbs, rice is pure carb. There's really not that much protein. And the protein that is there isn't quite usable in the human body without some prep work. So the body can't use all of it. Um, <clears throat> And now, today, what I know, I would grab the fat. Um, one, it's really cheap. Two, you can render it, especially if it's saturated and it doesn't need refrigeration. I made pemmican several months ago, and I did leave it in the fridge, but it's still good. I mean, every once in a while, I'll grab a square, pop it. I just want to see if it'll last a year. Um, you know, in the fridge, even if it weren't. The thing is the tallow, since it's saturated, there's no chance for it to oxidize. So it won't go rancid. And it encapsulates the jerky. So I essentially made beef jerky, ground it into a powder, mixed it with the tallow. So there's really no water. There's no water. And if there's no water, there's and it's, and it's 2% salt. So if there's no water and it's all salt, meat, and uh, saturated fat, there's, there's no oxidation, there's no rancidity. Bugs don't want it, bacteria don't want it, mold doesn't want it. 
but you can use it. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you can use it to the tune of uh, 33% in the meat, 35% or so. And you can use 100% of the tallow for the energy and salt, something your body needs anyway. Yay! So good old pemmican and water, you can last several years on that. Literally several years. Um, beef has everything you need. It's got all the vitamin Bs. And if you're poking around, you can eat a few insects. That ain't going to bug you. Uh, insects are always really good. Try to de dehydrate them. And if you can hit them with a, you know, I, we have citrus plants here, but if you can hit them with a little lime and salt, they taste a little better. But definitely salt them. Salt is a, is a commodity. Make sure you grab salt and make sure you grab fat. I just did, a, I measured my, uh, my bottle of uh, coconut oil. And turns out that if that's all I ate um, <clears throat> on a 2,000 calorie diet, that bottle would last me 11 days. Now, if you're fasting and your body's recycling and it's already fat adapted and you're doing good, you could probably push that to close to 20 full days of actual nourishment. Uh, it breaks down to MCT oil and your body, um, though it's lacking in everything, protein, um, it's, it's just fat, but it is energy. <clears throat> and energy is the thing that you actually need. So um, if you can scrounge around and find, you know, you know, little animals or, or insects or whatever to munch on, and you have that fat, you just take a little scoop of the fat and... Uh, even where I am today, I, I checked. I, I have some old Coast Guard records, and it looks like, well, I just went in and wrote whatever was on my driver's license, so it's about 180 pounds. I think there's a record in there somewhere, 185 pounds. I think that was the heaviest that it was ever recorded. And uh, today I'm sitting at 190 to 195 glass of water here and there. So I pretty much hit my set point, and uh, I know I have obviously a few more muscles than when I went in because I used to work out quite a bit. Now I don't know if that's reduced or whatever, but um, I don't feel any weakness. Uh, like the other day, I showed you I can I can I can still hike around a 50 pound gallon, you know, 50 pound bottle of water. I mean, having fasted for what was it? I think I was fasting for almost two days, and I'm just sitting here lifting 50 pounds of water. I mean. I was like, well, it's 50 pounds. Well, 50 pounds, bruh. <laughs> you know? Um, and, uh, you know, it's a water bottle. Flipped it over. It's five gallons. Um, so, yeah, you're, you're not going to lose any... Uh, you're not going to lose any weight. As a matter of fact, it'll make you sharper. If I could convince you to fat adapt and then fast a full day before a trip, especially driving, you'll be able to drive all the way. You won't get drowsy, not in the least. I've already done it, so I proved it to myself. Um, <clears throat> and uh, again, you can drive 8 to 10 to 12 hours. During the daylight hours, I, I prefer not to drive at night. I don't like not seeing animals and things running in front of me and all that, but uh, you know, if you're going to go ahead and, and get in your car and drive a little bit, <clears throat> fasting's the way to go. And if you're going to eat anything, take some coconut oil with you. Take some ghee. Salt it a little bit and, and take a pop. The fat will not make you drowsy. It's the carbs that do that. So um, I guess rounding out here in the apocalypse, try not to grab the carbohydrate. Try to grab as much fat and protein as you can get because it's really what you need. Oh, and salt. Make sure. Make sure. You know what? I would start today just buying salt. Just stack up salt. You know, 2,000 years ago, Saladio, salary, salt, it was a big deal. Um, I mean, you were paid in salt. So that's what I would concentrate on if things get kind of ugly. Don't worry about toilet paper. You can't eat it. And uh, you can always use a little water and wipe your butt or whatever. But uh, toilet paper is not, not a big deal. You know what? I would trade people salt for toilet paper. I would trade people protein and fat for toilet paper. Matter of fact, any carbs I had, I would trade those out for looking people. Oh, oh, you have olive oil. Yeah, but look, I have like 10 pounds of beans. Mm. Olive oil. Preferred. Totally preferred. 
All right, so I hope that helps. Uh, go after the protein, the salt, and the fat, and you'll survive anything that's coming up. Uh, and that's the idea. Just survive. Don't worry about your material stuff. Nah, you ain't going to keep it anyway, you know? Uh, what do they say? You never see a U-Haul being towed by a hearse, right? So uh, anyway, good luck. <laughs> see you later.